A little boy came up to his mother in the kitchen one evening while she was fixing supper and handed her a piece of paper that he had been writing on. After his mom dried her hands on an apron, she read it, and this is what it said. For cutting the grass, $5. For cleaning up my room this week, $1. For going to the store for you, $0.50. Cent. Babysitting my kid brother, kid brother while you went shopping, $0.25. Cent. Taking out the garbage, $1. For getting a good report card, $5. For cleaning up and raking the yard, $2. Total owed $14.75. Well, his mother looked at him standing there, and the boy could see the memories flashing through her mind. She picked up the pen, turned over the paper he had written on, and this is what she wrote. For the nine months I carried you, while you were growing inside of me, no charge. For all the nights that I've set up with you, doctored and nursed you and prayed for you, no charge. For all the trying times and all the t tears that you've caused throughout the years, no charge. For all the nights that were filled with dread and for worries that I knew were ahead, no charge. For the toys, food, clothes, and even wiping your nose, no charge. Son, when you add it up, the cost of my love is no charge. When the boy finished reading what his mother had written, there were tears in his eyes, and he looked straight at his mother and said, Mom, I sure do love you. And then he took the pen, and in great big letters he wrote, paid in full. You know, mothers do do a lot for us. They give us life, nurture us, take care of us, worry about us when we uh, are go out into the world on our own, uh, struggle through with our successes and failures, and they just do a lot for us. And throughout time, unfortunately, as we do grow older, they do grow older and that is what one of the days that I had been dreading inevitably it did arrive I'd seen it coming but just wanted to ignore it as long as possible and that was the day that my very capable intelligent mom had started forgetting things and it was time for me to take over doing things for her and as I looked through her wallet I made a remarkable discovery that tucked away in a tiny compartment were three Mother's Day coins that I had written for her and she had saved and cherished these simple gifts for over 50 years. What a surprise that was that she had cherished those pieces of paper and to this day she still has those pieces of paper and I'm fortunate that my mother is still here so if you have your mother please take a chance today to tell her how love you love her and every day you should tell her that you love her because you never know that when she may not be here and for those of you who do not have your mothers anymore I say a special prayer for you today and still wish you all a happy Mother's Day.